It's called spoofing. Telemarketers calling from a number that looks a lot like yours, same area code, and even the same first few digits, trying to get your personal information, promising free cruises and warranties. And now scammers are doing it too. Criminals realize that you're more apt to answer your phone if they call from an area code that you're in. And even more crazy, they can actually make the call look like it's coming from somebody you already know. They can actually mimic somebody's phone number now. Absolutely. So, for example, I can call somebody and make it look like you're calling them. You said you will be able to call my producer, Giovanna, who's actually just off camera right over there. Hi, Giovanna. You can call her from your phone. Yes. Posing as me. Absolutely. We aren't showing you how he does it, but seconds later... There it is. It says Jeff Boss and work. It's your picture. This is literally what happens when you call me. I would see this and 100% think it was you. That is crazy. And by the way, everybody, this is my phone. Yeah. We called from your phone, not mine. Then he ramps it up, showing us what a real criminal would do, and calls my mom as me, again from his phone. Okay. Hey, Mom, real quick, I need your social security number. Throw some beneficiary forms. Can you help me out real quick? What? I got this beneficiary form. I just need to fill it out. What's your social security number real fast? Uh, oh. Great. Thanks a lot, Mom. Love you. And now you have it. That's it. I've got a social security number. Think it can't happen to you? Even the chairman of the FCC has been spoofed. What is the FCC doing now to stop this, to protect me? A few different things. Uh, number one, we are empowering phone companies to block robocalls that appear to be uh, spoofed with no legitimate purpose. Number two, we are taking aggressive action against robocallers. And uh, number three, we're working with the industry to develop more technological solutions. In the meantime, experts say apps like Mr. Number and True Caller can help, alerting you to spoofed calls. But the best advice, never give personal information over the phone unless you made the call yourself. That wasn't even for my phone. He was just posing as me. You're kidding. Because you never know who's on the other end. Jeff Rawson, NBC News, San Diego. Voice transformation or voice cloning. To voice transformation. How do you fool somebody on the phone? And in fact, this was used in the Gulf War. Uh, they called up the generals, used voice transformation, so it sounded like there are other generals giving orders to uh, the, the commanders in the field, and they fooled them where to go. Gang stalkers use caller ID spoofing in conjunction with voice transformation slash cloning to call you or to call the people you know pretending to be you. This tactic is used to ruin your relationships. There are free and paid apps that record in calls and out calls. Use one. There are decoding software that can decode the suspicious call recordings and find out the real voice who made the call. Tip. Keep multiple copies of the suspicious call recordings. Keep all fine copies too, on a memory stick or memory card video made by gang stalking attention awareness like share and subscribe to keep in touch